What is a sundown town? If you ask most people, they won't be able to tell you. Believe it or not, Goshen used to be a sundown town. And one Goshen College student made a documentary about how this city came to terms with its sundown past. What better place to hold the premiere of a documentary about Goshen's past than at the historic Goshen Theater in downtown Goshen? But what is a sundown town? A sundown town is a, an area in, I think the term is unique to the United States, that has historically either by oppressive tactics have kept certain groups of people from living in that area. And who is the student behind the camera for the film? Goshen College sophomore Silas Emanuel. As a freshman, I decided that I wanted to apply for the Maple Scholars Program. Um, I had you know, seen news of it floating around, asked my professor what it was about, heard that it was a really cool opportunity. Never imagined that I would actually get into the program. To, to me, it was, it was about telling that story and to honor those that have felt that, that discrimination or that just fear. It's a Tuesday evening, maybe if 200 people show up, if 150 people show up, we'd be very excited because it's the middle of the week. We don't know, you know, who would pull out for something like this. Despite being a cold weekday evening, the theater quickly filled to capacity. We were pleasantly surprised for the, the amount of people that showed up. It was packed. As the documentary ended, it was met with a large ovation from the crowd. After the film, Emmanuel and other key participants in the film answered questions from the crowd. Most of the questions that were aimed at me were uh, more aimed toward what the process was like. While the documentary paints a picture of Goshen's past, it is far from the end of this story. I would encourage people to co continue on this path and to also, you know, not let this documentary be the end of any public display of Goshen yearning to move forward. Reporting from the Goshen Theater in downtown Goshen, this is Mike Morell for Globe News.